All right, set my alarm for a particular date recently and a particular time of that day so that I wouldn't miss out buying these sunflowers. I've been waiting for these. They went on sale, um, I think it was last year or maybe earlier this year, and then they sold out and they were restocked. And um, yeah, I've been waiting for these. Next year, Sunflower Steve is releasing a Van Gogh lemon mix, which I will look out for. But for now, I've got my hands on some of these and um, I'm gonna sew only half the packet because I want to succession sew these. So I don't want the entire packet to bloom all at the same time. So I'm gonna put some in today and I'm gonna wait two weeks and then I'm gonna put some more seeds in and, and then hopefully I should have a longer flowering season. So yeah, and then I'm gonna find some chicken wire because there's no way they're scratching up and eating these because I will be very upset. I've got some netting from the new coop that I was putting together, so I'm gonna use that. And uh, I'm gonna secure it with some binder clips. And um, I'm actually gonna go and look in my seed collection, see if I can find something else pretty to sow here that might come up faster than these sunflowers. The sunflowers come up pretty fast anyway, but um, it's quite a big area to have looking bare for you know for so long, and I can underplant underneath the sunflowers. So I'll go and look. And um, yeah, oh, I'm so excited. This is in a completely sunny spot. I know it's not sunny right now because it's a bit of a cloudy day, but this is going to stay in the sun all day, which is what sunflowers need at least six hours, six to eight hours. Um, but. Um, yeah, this is gonna do really well. And I chose this spot because I walk up and down here like a million times a day and I will see them and that will make me really happy. So um, God, I'm so looking forward to these coming up. Are you broody? I don't understand what's happening because somebody else was sitting there yesterday and now you're sitting. And they came off the nest and I took the eggs away and now you're there. Are you just laying? Because you look really flat to me. So you look like you're sitting. I don't understand. All right, Phyllis. Are we having babies? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. I'm not looking at you. Can I, do you think I could see how many babies she's sitting on? No, you want me to leave you alone? Okay. Just spotted little ladies jumped off her nest. I'm just having a look, and she's stolen three. So three baby chicks, hopefully. What are you doing? Quit frisking me! I don't have anything. You are one dumb duck. I don't have anything. Disco. <laughs> He's checking out my pockets. <laughs> I don't have anything. Disco, you're being silly. Oh my gosh, is he coming around again? Are you not helping me? This, this. Ow! That one hurt. That hurt. Stop it.
Everyone's getting an upgrade into the sunshine. If they're brave enough to come outside, they're going to hang with my um, other chicks. And they're going to have um, a couple of heat plates in here. I'm going to make them a hidey hole, a quiet corner. I just need them to come outside and enjoy some sunshine. You coming out? These are the babies that are hatched inside from um, Esther at Cedar Bridge Farms eggs. So it's the first time they're seeing sunshine. About three weeks old now, just shot of three weeks old. So they still need a lot of heat. That's why I'm go gonna build them uh, a little space where they can hide and the heat plates will trap heat for them and they'll stay warm if they're brave enough to come outside. Coming out in the sunshine, it's nice. That little grey one there is my favourite. a baby chick apartment, super big um, brooder plate and a spare one, fresh bedding, in and out, jungle gym, water, I'm just going to leave them with some food, put a camera on them, keep an eye on them, and we've got the big kids over there and a pit bull, just keeping them company. And then I'm going to secure the outside so that nothing can dig in or under. And yeah, these kids are going to start living their best life. I'm trying to film through the triple enforced wire on this coop. It's a bit tricky. But uh, check out this little chicken's do. This is the one that I called Esther. After my good friend. She's got the best do. But in all fairness, Esther, my friend, has really great hair too. Yeah, she's got a cool do. <laughs> I love her. I can see you. What are you doing? What are you doing in there? Hmm? What you doing? Are you on the hunt? What you on the hunt for? Oh, and I? I mean, you only just got out of bed, but okay. No, don't eat the duck food. Dexter, no, no, good boy. for my sandwich. I hate to tell you this but I ate it already.
really late with my cup of tea today. Did jobs before I even had a cup of tea. Just checking on these kids. It's nap time. Nap time for you. And I'm gonna sit and enjoy my cup of tea. I'm trying to beat the weather because it's starting raining. It was actually forecast for all day and then it changed to the afternoon and I was busy doing the nursery coop and I didn't get it done. So that's okay. But I really want to put some seeds in the ground so that they can be watered in. And I was looking in my collection for something for in here. And I think I'm gonna put this purslane in never grown it before. I'm gonna try it. And um, it's supposed to be really pretty. I'm gonna find a couple of other things as well, but I'm gonna start with this and then it's uh, hopefully gonna be watered in. So I read that purslane only needs light to germinate. So um, I'm not gonna bury it too deep. So I'm gonna just scatter it everywhere. And I let it do its thing. It's um, the seeds are as small as poppy seeds, which is quite interesting. And um, this is from the sedum family. So if I like it, I may transplant some of them into my cactus bath. All right, the rain's getting heavier, which is great for the garden, but not so great for me. I've got some dahlia seeds that I want. I want to add mixed colour. So I'm just going to sprinkle these everywhere too. And I'm getting drenched so I'm going to have to run inside. Ah, uh, yuck. And I hope that these seeds don't blow away actually because it's supposed to get pretty stormy. Well I'm definitely trapped in the van but while I was in here I decided that I actually have this that I prefer to cover the um, seeds up with uh, because I'm going to lay it directly onto the soil and then um, the plants can grow through it. So I was just cutting that to shape while I was stuck in here and looks like I've got to take a break for a little while before I can come back outside and finish what I was doing. There, I like that way better. So uh, I'm just going to keep an eye on it, hope the chickens don't destroy what I put in there and um, go and have another cup of tea.